DJ booth. Why not both? Break the rules. So, number one rule is to always be yourself. It's super nice to be inspired by other artists and see what they do creatively, but I think it's really, really important to look for things that are true to you. Look for your own sound and think, what would you like to achieve? What are your goals and why are you doing this? And once you more or less have the image in your head, uh, just start moving towards your goal and uh, record mixtapes and look, look for contacts and other people who do the same. And uh, second rule, I think, no matter how cheesy it sounds, like believe in yourself, you know, there, there will be dark days when you'll be like insecure and be like, shit, I don't know where this is going, I'm never gonna achieve anything. But if you, if you like keep, keep doing it and keep going, you'll get somewhere eventually. My look is 50% sexy, 50% clown, 100% fabulous. Definitely, there's enough time to be serious, like during the week on your subway ride to work. But to me, nightlife is about celebration of life and celebration of love. So celebrate! Well, as a young female DJ, you, on, you regularly face some rather unflattering comments on social media, especially nowadays when people are home a lot. But there's a very powerful quote about it, never forget, hurt people hurt people. So when when you see some some negative comments you can you can imagine that those people are probably dealing with some really bad stuff or dissatisfaction in their lives because there's no way that a happy a balanced person would intentionally hurt someone so i'm mostly focusing on the kind words and the positive comments that people leave me and i'm super grateful for all those beautiful souls who spend their time uh, to leave a nice comment oh honey no when I was a child, I always used to be like this show kid, putting like little shows for my parents with dancing and outfits. But you know, when, when you start growing older and growing up, that's when the kids start noticing that you're a bit different and that's when the bullying starts. So like toward the teenage years, like your confidence is like non-existent. It's only like during the past few years when I moved to enter that I started to regain my confidence and uh, I started to impress my true self and all my weird and funky sides. And I can definitely uh, be thankful to nightlife for that. Girl, I grew up in Ukraine, we didn't have Smurfs there. I'm fascinated by many music genres, but the main mood behind my music selection is always good times and sexy lives. Whenever I'm looking for tracks, I trust my intuition a lot and whenever I'm, I'm listening to a track, I always ask myself, does it ring the bells of my soul? Because when I'm vibing with the tracks, the rest always follows. Making people happy, uh, seeing the smiles on their faces, getting the kind of messages that they send me nowadays where they say that they feel inspired or empowered by my music, that's it. So there was this one time when I was play playing on Drag Me To Hell in a, in a fort and it was so poorly ventilated in the front, it got so packed that I could barely breathe and I thought I was almost gonna faint. So I took off my dress and I still had like bra and underwear and like fishnets under it and I played my entire set in my bra, like out of necessity. For me, Techno stands for freedom. Freedom of love, freedom of self-expression through dance and outfits. I think Techno Clubs provide a safe space where you can uh, escape the difficulties of your daily life and just be yourself and have a good time. I think it's something that we all crave. I have such love for music and for dancing, so being able to do it with people and for people is such a blessing. It brings you to so many interesting places and you meet so many interesting people all around the world. Thanks for listening and see you in the dance floor.